Remote desktop attack is a type of attack that allows us to fully control any of these devices because it's been allowed to be used for troubleshooting. It's been allowed by the IT administrators to allow them access to take over your computer screen and see whatever you're doing so that they can help you resolve those issues. Because you're connected to free Wi-Fi and the hackers are there, they will scan your device and run a brute force attack against your device, ultimately giving them full control of the entire computer system. So right in front of us, we have a Windows machine. All right, it doesn't matter whether it's Windows 10, it's a Mac, whichever machine it is, as long as it has RDP enabled, what happens is you can see right here, open up File Explorer, or right, on the left side, I can do a right click under this PC, and I click under Properties, and from Properties, you can see on the left side, there's something called Remote Settings. Go ahead and click on it. So once you click on it, you'll see right at the bottom, it states the following, Remote Desktop allow remote connections to this computer and you can click under select users and this is a user all right who can then run a remote desktop okay so once you have all this information in place what the hacker can do right now in front of us i'm on Kali Linux. so what the hacker refers to is that it will scan your device to look out for openings so the very fast way to scan your device very quickly for openings is to look and use a tool like Nmap called Network Mapping Tool to see what are the services that are open up as a result of your machine having say remote desktop, having file sharing, and many of those other services. So once you're here, okay, on Kali Linux, you can enter Nmap followed by dash P to specify the port number. All right, so in this case, remote desktop is always 3389 is the default port, so 33. Hit nine, and then we can target this specific IP address of 192.168.0.1.6. So again, it could be your own hacker's Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi network they have set up, and whenever any of these devices come in, you get a notification for it. So in this case, we're seeing 192.168.0.1.6. So you can see the following, right? Host sims now. If it is really up but blocking our ping probes, try dash capital PN. So let's go ahead and hit that, and that's it. We've found out, all right? Port 3389 TCP open MSWBT-server. So now the question is, what can we do next, right? We want to target the device. We want to break into it. We want to find out exactly what's the password so that we can remove desktop into the device. So now that we have found out that the service is enabled, we want to do a brute force attack against the system. So there are two parameters that we want to target. The first one is username and the second one is a password. All right, so I want you to learn about how you can change up the values of it. So the first thing you want to do is enter crowbar and then you can hit enter on this and this will show up, right? The following arguments are required, so we need to target, we can enter dash dash help, and it will show us the menu, the information that we can utilize as part of launching the attack. So, so what we can do now is enter crowbar, dash B, all right, followed by RDP. So in this case, remote desktop protocol, RDP. And then we can enter, say, dash S, and then we can target, in this case, 192.168.0.1.6 slash 32. All right, so this is the IP address that we are targeting. So it can be a classless into domain range that you want to specify, so that's fine too. So then after which you can enter dash u, in this case we can enter the username, and then we can enter the password list. So in this case we can enter slash usr, all right, slash share, slash word list, all right, double tap on this and you can see the following, I have 1000 commonly used passwords.txt, okay? So once you have this, I can enter dash n for the number of threads, so in this case I'll enter two, hit enter on that, and it's start, all right, crowbar version 0.4.1, and within a few seconds, right? In fact, it was just two seconds, we managed to find out the username as well as the password of Loy Liang Yang. So what we can do now is to use our desktop to help us gain full remote control of the computer. So what you can do is go ahead and enter the following, all right? So you can enter the following, which is our desktop, all right, our desktop followed by the target IP address. So in this case, 192.168.0.186. So this is the target IP address that we're going after. And then followed by dash u, all right, which is the username field. And then followed by dash p, which is the password field. And then once you are done, in three, two, one, hit enter, it's game over. We have full remote control into the entire computer system. So now the big question mark is, if someone attempts to log in into your computer, can you detect it? Can you find out who tried to do that? Well, the answer is yes but there are a couple of security settings that you need to change in order to do just that. So going back into Windows 10 right here, what you want to do now is to go to the following, all right? You go to the bottom left side and you enter event 
viewer and once you're on event viewer click on the windows locks and click under security so once you're in security you see the following right so we have like the following event id information all right you had all the success so what you can do here is to go back into say car linux and i can do an attempt to target against the system so what you are seeing here we have crowbar dash b rdp and then we have the target ip address of 192.168.0.186 and then we have dash u, which is the username, as well as dash c for password. And in this case, the password is incorrect. So if I do an attempt, I hit enter on this, and I see the following, stop, no results found. So it was an unsuccessful attempt. And if I go back into Windows 10 right here, you can not see anything. There are no updates. So there are no attempts that you can literally get a audit for. So what you need to do is to go to local security policy, or right, enter local security policy, and you can see right here, at the left side, click under local policies, click under audit policy, and then you click under the following, which is audit logon events. Double click on this, select audit this attempts. Success, failure, click apply, click OK. So now if I go back over into Kala Linux and I rerun the same attack, I go back to Kala Linux right now, I rerun the attack, all right, using a password as failure. I hit enter on that. And we can see, of course, once again, this is the incorrect password. I go back, all right, over into Windows 10 computer. I do a refresh right here. You can see the following. Audit failure. And account failed to log on. All right, now we can see right here, account name, unknown username, or bad password. So that's how you can detect all these attempts going into your computer, and you have to turn it on. So once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. Remember, like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest ethical hacking tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.